What's going on guys? Pilot Manny here with the RC Plane Addict. I want to welcome you to my channel, a place where I get to share this passion and addiction for flying these RC planes. So today I do, I thought I'd do a little let's fly. Um, we got the beautiful FMS pits. It's got the lights all going on it. We got a little bit of the uh, green strobe underneath one wing and the red strobe underneath the other wing and it looks like it's all appropriate. So that's pretty good. I got the white strobe underneath the back. And these are just um, aftermarket lights you can get on Amazon, I think I got them from. So they're they're pretty good. They're all like independent batteries. You can plug them in with a U micro USB. And it, uh, it works pretty well. I'm sorry. I'm a little out of breath. Just flew the Avanti and my heart's going. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, let's get this thing in the air. We'll find it on a uh, 6L, 4,000 milliamp hour. It's a Turnigy uh, heavy duty. So this bad boy gives me about seven and a half minutes worth of flight, um, but probably a whole lot more. I think the last flight I had, I had like almost 40% left on that battery. So that was pretty good. Anyways, we're not going to make it a long one today. I just want to get up there, fly, have a little bit of fun. Uh, maybe do some inverted flights. I'm going to try to do a little bit of that uh, a knife edge that the uh, RC sailors have posted that challenge. What is it, like a three minutes of knife edge? That's crazy. But, uh, but if there is one plane I could knife edge on, hopefully for a second or two. It's gonna be this plane. All right, let's give it a go. Sounds good, sounds good. All right. Looks good. Seven minutes, 40 seconds on the timer. We're in normal mode. There is no wind. I can take off any direction I would like. It's great. All right, we are mid rates. I will, Jay, thank you. All right, going up. Love the way this plane flies. It is so responsive. And you can fly this thing around with like, I don't even know, quarter throttle all day long. It is just amazing, it really is. Sorry about the cloudy sky, guys. It's kind of, um, kind of is killing the video. Hope the run cam capture is a pretty good video though. Kind of make up for it. All right, I think I got a good feel for it. Let's go inverted. You guys watching on the run cam are probably gonna be like, Oh, this is sickening. Yeah, you know what? I apologize. We're going to go right side up on that. <laughs> so I'm still learning how to do knife edge. It's definitely not within my comfort zone. Um, goodbye, Javier. And I, I am definitely a, a extreme novice when it comes to that, but and I can only do it from one direction, which is from left to right. So we're gonna have to come around and I definitely need more time on the, um, on the simulator. So a few mistakes up and let's go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I gotta be a little smoother on my elevator. You know, like when you have it sideways, your elevator is now your rudder and your rudder is your elevator and well, your ailerons are still your ailerons, but it's um, it's crazy. So like for this plane, I find like if I'm just a click over half, I can maintain a pretty good altitude when in um, knife edge. So that's what I've been doing. And the um, 
the authority on the rudder on this plane is they're sick. Oh, mosquito. That was actually pretty good. I was I was pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. Held it for a few more seconds that time. And so with this plane, um because like the wings are in kind of like a dihedral attitude, you have to hold your um you have to use the elevator, like I said, as your rudder. And I believe it's down pressure is what you need to kind of keep it straight because it wants to kind of keep on going in that in that direction because of the shape of the wings. I know I'm not making much sense right now. <laughs> Trying to talk and fly at the same time is like not my specialty. Especially when I'm like trying to think about what I'm doing, but I'm not even good at doing that thing. So, Time also, I have like these stupid little bugs, and they are bugging the living life out of me. Get it, bugs? So there's my uh, there's my knife edge. Oh, uh, that was actually pretty decent. That was steady and straight and not twitchy at all. Let's see. Let's see if I can come in for a little. Touch and go for you guys, a little fast. Oh God, you know, um, <laughs> I'm at the end of this field and I keep forgetting that if I'm gonna be coming in from this direction or if I should say from that direction, I, uh, I should probably be closer to that side when I start coming down. I keep forgetting this field is really short. Um, just so you know, like, the landing, the landing space for this club is, is probably a lot shorter than you would see for most other clubs. I mean, we're talking, I want to say, I think they told me just under 300 feet. And that's, that's really short, especially for, you know, planes. But you know what? Like, I feel if you have a space like this and it's a really decent flying area, it's just going to make you a better pilot, especially if you can learn, like, where to put your plane down depending on the direction you're coming from and um you know and obviously the characteristics of your plane right so like if you need a certain amount of space you got to put it down fairly quickly and know how to stop it um grass is a great break flaring is another great break flaps are another great break so you kind of kind of use you know what you got to make everything work so i think okay that was really weird I have absolutely no idea what happened there. I think, <laughs> I, I can't even explain that. I tried to abort, I think, and then that just kind of, I was like, well, you know what? Might as well just keep it going. Okay, so here's my touch and go. This is what I tried to do before. That was, that was pretty gross. I'm not even gonna lie. This plane I, is so robust. Like you would think a plane with a couple of wings is like a Nancy, especially when like it hits the ground and it's foam. It's not at all. It's like super, super tough. Like I've, I, I can't say I've had a really bad crash with it cause I haven't, but you know, I've put it into some pretty tall grass and, and received like very little scratches. It's um, yeah, she's she's a tough bird and it's fairly big too. Like I have to take this thing completely apart to put it into my car. So just to give you an idea of just how big this thing is. All right, let's try. Let's try some more knife edges. I know I know I said I was going to try some more knife edges, right? These RC sailors, they got me all worked up. All right, so I got my speed. Oh, there you go. Take that! <laughs> you guys are like, Manny, you really need to like get your game up. I know, I know. I'm working on it. I swear to you, I am. But it's just fun. It's just fun. Like, you gotta have fun. If the bugs don't like kill you. All right, let's see if I can get this thing to come in a little smoother. Like, I feel like. It's embarrassing what I'm doing here. Whoa. All right, let's kind of bring it back around. 
kind of get it back up again. I thought that was pretty smooth. It sounds worse than it is, I swear to you, it does. And she keeps wanting to turn to the, what is that, to the right? So maybe a little bit of, might be because of that run cam, I'm not 100% certain. You know what I am gonna do though? I do wanna turn the run cam around. I wanna give you guys like a perspective from behind. I think it's kind of cool when you, when you can see what's going on in the front and the back. All right, here we go. Little, little rear facing action. All right, get back on this line. Here we go. I think I did my last video or one of these videos where I had the plane or the, the run cam facing backwards the entire time. And you know what? I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. Does it look better when the camera is facing the back? Does it look better when it's facing forward? Or do you like a little bit of a mix? All right, I think that was my minute timer. So you get to see me try an another terrible attempt of landing this plane. <laughs> Pilot Rich would, would definitely tell me I failed the test if he saw me. But that's okay, I'm having fun, that's all that matters. And it looks so pretty with those lights, I have to admit. It's so cool. All right, here we go. Let's, let's do this thing. Yes, that was a bounce. But hey, whose plane landed in one piece? That's right, this guy. Nice. All right, let's let's uh, let's get this thing back to the bench. I wanna um, show you guys how we did on the battery so that you could see just how efficient this thing runs because it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. All right, so um, that was, so I have 28 seconds left on the timer and that was a seven minute and 40 second timer, in case you're wondering. You know what's really cool about these planes is you get this like removable tray um, and like, it's just so easy for taking everything out. I kind of adjust this so you can see what's going on here. All right, um, yes, I know where my battery checker is today. It's like the big joke. Got it. All right, all right, all right, moment of truth. 41% left, see what I'm saying? Like this plane is just amazing on battery. I love it so much. All right, guys. Well, that was it. That was um the fun with my FMS pits, and that thing is that thing is that thing's a lot of fun. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, so, anyways, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit me up with some comments or questions if you have any suggestions. I'm always looking for new content ideas, and um, share this video if you think some other of your friends are, would love to see how you know this pits flies. It's it's really um it's really a special plane to me. I should also tell you that I'm not flying the stock prop. I am, I am flying a um, master air screw prop and I feel like it, it just gives it a lot more punch and then it's the same length, but I think it's an inch more in pitch and that's what I'm flying with. So, you know, it's, it's definitely got the juice, you know, to get you out of trouble. Like you saw, like <laughs> I thought I was gonna bail for a second. I was like, nah, punch it. And it just, it ripped right out of there, no problems. And that's kind of what you wanna, you wanna have in a plane. So um, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.